I uh, were refusing to go on a trip because my husband didn't ask me. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, if you don't have to pay for it and you say no because he didn't ask you, that sounds childish. So the day when my 30, uh, when my female 30, husband, male 29, came home from work, he told me he will be going on a trip in two weeks. I asked what he means by that and he answered that he booked a six day long vacation with hotel and everything for the two of us. Unless you are super buzzy. Unless it's impossible for you to take that week off. That sounds like a freaking good deal. For clarification, he didn't tell me anything about the idea beforehand. He didn't even ask if I want to go. So I politely told him he should have asked me first because I can't just take a leave from work like that and that I won't be going. Since I am very busy at the moment, I suggested we could arrange a trip together at a time when we both have time. I couldn't wrap my head around why he didn't ask me first. He got mad, saying he meant it as a nice surprise and that I should stop being so uptight and enjoy the life a little bit. Then he walked out and slammed the door at me. Well, she's not, she, she's not the asshole. There's no way she's the asshole. I, I understand that the Chester came from a good place from him. But that sounds like the kind of thing that you do on a, um, how do you call that? Impulse buying? Like, when you buy something without really thinking about it because you got a good sale and you're like, yeah! Um, not sure if it's the best um, way to spend your money. It sounds very, very impulsive. So, she's not the asshole. If you want to do these kind of surprises, make sure that you at least make it fall on the other's person, like, Holidays? Anything? Like, not just randomly slam on her that in two weeks she needs to have time for a six-day long vacation. It sounds super nice. But he's probably going to have to go there with his buddy, you know? 